Now, the old City Hall building, it was a home away from home for so many people who worked there, including some city council members. It was their home away from home for the better part of two decades, 20 years. Yeah, and our Vic Michalucci had a chance to talk with four of the past city council presidents about really what this means to them. Vic is joining us live from the South Bank. Vic, I know you're going to get to your story in just a moment, but first, wow, quite, quite a crowd gathering around you just in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, a lot of people are coming out. You know, at 6 o'clock, it was very quiet. We saw one, two, then four people. Now we have a couple of dozen. want to show you here on the Riverwalk, on the South Bank, we have people coming up, some bringing chairs, some bringing breakfast, and a lot of people coming from all over the area because they want to be able to see this, and this is one of the closest spots where you can get that angle of the City Hall implosion. Want to show you this way as we shoot down the South Bank as well. We've got our friends there, Sophia. We got so many people as far as the eye can see. A lot of amateur photographers out here as well. But you know what? You know who has the best view right now? It is our Sky 4 helicopter that is above us. And the video, the images that we are getting from the helicopter are great. They are going to be spectacular right around 8 o'clock when that implosion takes part. But in the meantime, there are a lot of people that are watching from all across the city who used to work and serve in that city hall building. As you said, I sat down with four city council presidents, some who had been there for 20 years. They have positive and negative memories. These walls can't talk. They can't tell the stories of what happened inside the old city hall. But these men can. It stirs uh, so many memories of so many good people that it, it makes me a little sad to look at it. It's right behind uh, my office. Eric Smith, Warren Jones, Bill Bassford, and Matt Carlucci, all past city council members, all past presidents, all with their own unique perspectives on this historic building. It holds a lot of memories, a lot of fond memories. Warren Jones had good days and bad ones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. Jones. We he stood up for what he believed in and decided the building was on prime real estate, too prime for a city property. I supported the move from the old city hall to the new city hall to put those properties on the tax roll. And I think the city will be better served uh, with that more valuable property on the tax rolls. I have such unbelievable memories. Bill Bassford, now 88, remembers it as the center of downtown. My river was there, Bay Street, uh, convenience to those. They were well built. They're still very usable. And I just fear the taxpayers are the ones that are going to suffer for a lot of this. Matt Carlucci served here following his father Joe Carlucci's footsteps. He remembers the good and bad times being a kid and later a leader. I was at the house and doing my homework and the phone rang and a man got on the phone said he was heading down to City Hall because he was going to murder my father. And I, you know, uh, my dad was like, my hero to me, and I wasn't going to about let that happen, so I got in my old Mercury Comet, and I drove really as fast as I could to City Hall, pulled up in that old parking lot. I said, Dad, there's somebody coming up here to murder you. He said, Son, I get those calls all the time. Don't worry about it. They accomplished a lot inside these walls. 911, what's your emergency? The city council itself uh, originated the 911 a system in Jacksonville. We were one of the last big cities to get it. Bassford helped bring computers in the 1980s. He and Jones remember passing the gas tax for city roads and infrastructure. And Carlucci say, uh, still uh, grins uh, when he thinks about the Jaguars. The Jacksonville is certainly going to make you proud. We're going to be a great new partner for the NFL. Yes, city council helped make the team a reality while they were in the chambers here. The ballot record the vote. 14 eyes, 4 nays. There were also lighthearted moments. These former leaders say they're going to remember the laughs, the jokes, and the good old days. I was really surprised that the uh, council secretary kept some liquor in his cabinet. And so when they would get the, when they get coffee, they would pour. I said, well, why is everybody drinking coffee now? And they were pouring liquor in the cup. Who was that? <laughs> 
some of, of the, the lawmakers? Yeah, some of the council members. <laughs> <laughs> and whether they like it or not, this building full of memories is soon to be just that, a memory. Where are you going to be for the demolition? You be watching on TV? You know, or? I'll probably go to Black or someplace so I don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you don't want to watch it. I don't think I do. I think it. I think it would break my heart watching those bricks fall. Since that building is not uh, uh, beautiful architecturally, uh, like for example the uh, new city hall at uh, sure. the Hemming Plaza. Uh, you can't save it if there's no reason to save it. So there you go. All of those men certainly have a lot of memories, a lot of experience in the building that is only going to last for another half hour. You are looking live now. That is the view all of these spectators here on the South Bank Riverwalk are going to get. They are very excited. Our friends over here say this is their first time seeing an implosion live in person and they would not miss it. Of course, we do have you coverage cameras all across the area, all throughout downtown on the North Bank, on the South Bank, and of course, Sky 4, the helicopter up in the sky. So complete coverage here on news4jacks.com. If you do plan on coming out here to watch it live, to see it firsthand, parking is going to be a little bit of an issue. Certainly want to get out here as quickly as possible because the parking lots all around here near the Chart House, near the Strand, near the Peninsula are filling up very quickly. Live on the South Bank, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. Back to you.